Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And in the last episode, guys, we went to question some folks in Hogsmeade and returned to Nat and found that she had actually been kidnapped. Now, fortunately, we were able to follow the clues and we found another one of these kind of TARDIS chambers, fought our way through, and there's Nat right there in this very interesting looking office. Revelio. All right, we will free everyone who needs to be freed, but first, student loans. Apparently we need to talk to Isco Rabe first. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Too bad that wands can't fly into your hand, kind of, uh, lightsaber style. That! Has nothing to say, alright. Revelio. Oh, I see you. Hello, Hamora. Secret box. It's kinda cool. Mr. Frame's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Careful now. That was anticlimactic. Hello, friend. Who has nothing to thank say? Thank you, oh, Mr. There you go. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Alright. We're gonna get into a scrap. Or can we just... be stealthy? There's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and... I understand. Yeah. We'll switch over if need be. Revelio. Bum 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 bum. Ah crap. Went the wrong way. Thank you. That was giving me the option to sit on the couch. There we are. And I don't think there's a chamber big enough for a fight out of here. Unless they're waiting for us outside. Maybe being stealthy was the right way to go. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Sounds good. That's right, we're, we're still here in Hogsmeade, technically. Oh no, Officer Singer's had a bad day, or a bad time previously. Natsai Onai, I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. 
Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Not to mention I also saved you from the... the witch that had the poltergeist. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yeah, I think it's time that we call good officer out. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Bye, friend. Basis for blackmail. All right, so... Oh, I don't think I can do that now. Did you get another instrument? Sounds great. Okay. By the way, guys, if it sounds a little bit weird this episode compared to others, that is because my computer has done updates and I'm not exactly sure what it's done to my sound settings, if anything. So... Headmistress speaks, the sky is the limit. We're gonna hold off on that right now. I guess we don't have anything to do but um, speak to Professor Fitzgerald in the map chamber. So let's go ahead and do that. Do I have any gear that I can sell? No, I think we already paid a visit to Penny, didn't we? Anything that we got, we got while we were in there. We have an identified piece. Oh, we have a few things. All right. Oh. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. Good luck, Otto. Hope you are not killed. I'll assume everything is good. Kitty! So I'll head to the room of requirement, identify that piece of gear, and then work our way to the map chamber. I think that pretty much sums it up. Secret rooms. I assume once we continue the, the centaur storyline, however that goes, that's what's going to get us access to another habitat. Crimson Mystic Ensemble. Now well, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And I think I actually need to... Wait, hold up. I know this may not be the best place to drop one off, but... Need to drop the critter up here. And... Where's the brush? There you go. Thank you for that nasal fur. I know how you don't like water, kitty, so... You will go ahead and...
put you back. I'll look after you. In there with your friend. This gives us our magic boost to all of our offensive capabilities. And of course, it's a cat that actually provides that. And the traits. Yes. All good. And I well, I guess we better equip it, don't we? Probably ideal. 92. And look at that, we don't even really have to change anything. Our fashionable clothes just seems to cover everything else. Okay. Map. And then... Uh, through the map chamber. Can't wait to fight more of those weird... Animated Knights. My hello, hello. Welcome back. Speak to Professor Niam or Niam Fitzgerald in the map chamber. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact... I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival, and I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the Headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Well, Unfortunately, this Headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. That's cool. I don't think we've seen the headmaster's office yet. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Where's Professor Fig hanging out, though? Let's see. Um, bell tower wing, no. It was fast travel there. So you already called it. I don't think you know where else he'd be other than his quarters. We're not supposed to be in there at dark. Just slept on the nice cozy carpet. Now here, Professor Fig. The keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir... There's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it. Despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. 
I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. <laughs> Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. I guess I should be glad that I'm already dressed as him, somewhat. Except <laughs> not that big of a change. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. I like that. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. <laughs> Changing the robes means we're just going to remove this Slytherin scarf. But now we can go talk to everyone. Probably not. They, they're going to give us, like, boundaries. Hello, painting. You going to show the headmaster some respect? Hmm? <laughs> well, then. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Jay. How much trouble do we want to get the headmaster into? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Like, look well, at this. Should I pop to this? To determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Hello. Up or down. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Yeah. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Kitty! We're going to give Headmaster Black a reputation. That's probably going to be the way he figures out that it's us. I thought I heard the Headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor! Yes, of course! All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> Do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. 
And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Daniel's having some fun with this. Okay. Have you come to say hello to the headmaster as well, Kitty? Very well. Give you some special pets since you're defying gravity. Mm hmm. Well, there's one for my diary. Ooh. What a lovely day. Just some light snowfall, nothing too serious. Christmas trees all out and about. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Professor Black. How are you, sir? Oh, hi, Ominous. This could be interesting. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Thomas is like, he knows. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Dittany and Booba Tuba Pass. Mustache paste? Only the finest mustache paste will do. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Ooh. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. See if we can get some quidditch for next year. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. He's going full Gary Oldman. And not Sirius Black, but just Gary Oldman. Hello. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Hope no info? All right. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Anyone else I can talk to? Nope. Definitely need to see if we can be. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. 
Uh-oh. Professor, mm -hmm. I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Hmm. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. I'm gonna part at the seams here in the presence of the headmaster. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. You crumble under pressure. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. All right. Oh, I can't cast Reparo. I was kind of planning to. Ah. Time to give a speech to the adoring public. Scrope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. Um... I don't want to be mean to Scrope, though, even if it's part of the part. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Strength. I assume purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. There is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Well, I guess that didn't, uh... The polyjuice potion's wearing off. i best get out of sight. No, but... Uh, Ahem! Oh. Attention, yes. students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. Oh, yes. Abuse that power. All right, up we go, into the loft. At least, I guess, presenting a diary is different than presenting with clothes. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Literally, all we had to do was just put our Slytherin scarf back on. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. Any time in an RPG where you can take the role of someone else, 
do a little undercover work is always fun. All right, friendos. Well, um, with that done, and I guess this counts as theater class for Hogwarts for Daniel, uh, we will go ahead and call it an episode and see what is going on inside the headmaster's office. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.